We're taking this living room and this dining room down to studs. dad here for a couple of days to help me demolish this room. We have opened up the stairs. Uh, and, and get some ideas what we need for structural stuff. We intend to take this wall out, and it is a structural wall. If you remember, that old furnace was sitting right here. There was also a chimney that came up through here into the bathroom. We took that out because it was just sitting on the floor, and there was no structural support, and it was weighing the house down. So we'll take this wall out, put a beam across here, open this up. This wall's coming down. We're just going to have a handrail here for the stairs. And... Uh, We'll get the floors all patched up. We're gonna make a little sitting nook under here. We're undecided if we're keeping the door, but it's cute and little and unique to the house. What do you guys think? Should we keep the door? So you guys are probably wondering what our plans are with the living room and dining room. And we want to put white shiplap on the walls to match the upstairs and then on the ceiling our neighbor has a fallen down barn and we are hoping that we will be able to salvage that wood to put on the ceiling so we'll have white shiplap walls rustic barn wood ceiling and then we're going to be refinishing the floors ourselves we plan to paint the fireplace white add a rustic wood mantle and that room that you saw Gary demolishing will be our library. So those are our plans. There's the outside. You feel a little draft coming in? I think it's supposed to be like that. A little chilly. My dad's coming over to frame some new headers in with me <clears throat> above the windows and doors. And so I was clearing it out and I noticed on this box right here, there's some drips. You just saw it drip right there. And I looked up to find this decking wet around this vent pipe. And it's dripping. It's raining real good outside and it's dripping. Above here is Macy's room. 
her closet. So I'm gonna go upstairs and look. I'm sure it's dripping from around the boot on the roof. Let's have a look. So here it's wet on the ground. Wet on the pipe and on the wall there. All the way up the pipe. And it's all wet around there on the ceiling. So, it's definitely dripping from up there. I'll have to get a new boot and put it around that vent. My dad's here today, Mr. Gary Blaylock. He's here from Olympia. There he is, don't let him scare you. So serious. Taking the insulation out. We're gonna put in a new header above that window. So we've done this little temporary wall to take some weight off of there while we cut some of those studs out and reframe this properly. So we'll do that there, above this door, and above this window, and above this window. So today is going to be a very busy but exciting day. I had no intentions of getting a second tractor. And a friend called, said there was one for $1,000 in Kelso. So the four of us hopped in the truck, rented a trailer, grabbed that tractor, and brought it home. And now we have a 1942 Ford two-in tractor. There it I'm is. excited. We're on our way. So we found this at a salvage store and it made us wonder, should we have a drinking fountain in our mudroom? Or do you guys like this one better? I vote that one. And the sink behind you. Today the goats get a new pen. Are you guys ready for a new pen? So we got these goats from a family who wasn't allowed to have goats anymore due to their restrictions in their homeowners association and they wanted the goats to go to a family who was going to raise them and maybe do 4-H with them. We've been thinking about doing 4-H with the kids and what better opportunity than to get to National Dairy Goat Association registered does and uh, start a little a little fun time with the kids. So when I brought them here I just had this dog kennel that my dad gave me and I threw it up real quick and put it right here so that they have part shelter under and a little bit of daylight but it's clearly too small and too messy for them so my plan is to make that area where they stay to get dry and then where these posts are I'm gonna fence all that in and make that their pen for now maybe do something big later on I'll eventually straighten up this side of the barn see it's kind of slanted down in that left hand side there but today I'm gonna clear all this stuff out 
all that old composting hay and put some fencing up. And here we have it. The goats are in their new pen. There's their hay and their water, supplements and cranberries and feed. Got their halters hanging here. And get this piled hay out of here, but for now they like climbing on it. They got lots of blackberries they've been snacking on. There's Suga. What are you doing? What are you doing, Sue? Something interesting. Hmm? There's Nutka. So here's the four foot filled fence and their space. They're happy it's not raining today so that they actually can be out. A few things to fix on the barn, but they're out here in their new pen. Why is there a goat out with the chickens? Nutka. Nutka, why are you out here with the chickens? And the turkeys. Nuka, why aren't you in your pen? Hey girls. You got a new pen and new halters. You look beautiful. Nuka, Suga, you look pretty too. How do you guys feel about those halters? Why did I put those halters on you? Is it because you've been getting out of your new pen? And it's the best way to catch it? Why have you been getting out of your new pen? Oh, to go see the turkeys. Why do you guys love the turkeys so much? Why do you always have to get out of your pen and see the turkeys? So, we have some major drainage issues I'm going to show you. This is our backyard. So we're going to need to fix this but the ducks are so pleased that we have a huge pond. It's huge. That's our backyard. So we are going to have to haul in some dirt this spring and get rid of the duck pond. Like our videos, well, hold on. If you love our videos, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell on the bottom so you can get notifications when we post a new video. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>